Hello, Barmy Badger Army. Welcome to today's show. If you're new to the show, this is an entertainment channel where we create vlogs, videos, streams, movies, and shorts, and lots of other entertaining things such as video game streams. Today, we're going to be reviewing <laughs> Costa Coffee Barista Creations Millionaire's Mocha, and this contains six sachets. And a big shout out to the lovely Viking for donating this us to review. Now, imaginatively crafted coffees are yours to experience at home with Barista Creations. Ooh. It's not easy to craft a mocha this deliciously indulgent. It takes creamy milk, rich chocolate, and our premium instant coffee with finely ground beans. Fortunately, to enjoy this perfect pick-me-up, all you need is to do it's stir. Isn't that nice? Now, open the sachet and pour into the mug of your choice. Indeed, pour hot water in, leave for a few seconds, stir again, and sit back and relax and enjoy. Ooh, I bet you get a spoon. Now we have a spoon. Excellent. Let's have hot water and one of my favourite mugs. Excellent. Here we go. Now, I don't know if you guys go to coffee shops and things like that. Sometimes I go to Costa Coffee or Starbucks, but I do like to frequent the smaller ones. I think it's important to support smaller chains. And I'm a bit of a hipster, really. I like all the random ones. So this is what the uh, sachet looks like without in the, the box. And it's got the instructions again, which I think is very helpful. Just in case you lose the box or you want to throw away or recycle the box, I think that's important that it's got all the details on there for you. And of course, please do check out the dietary requirements and allergens. And look, it's Rainforest Alliance and People and Nature certified, which is excellent. A better future for people and nature. I think that's very important. And of course, please do check out all the recycling details on the box too. Ooh, and there's a Barista Creations range that you can check out. We've also got Creamy Cappuccino and Salted Caramel Latte. Try something new. That's good, isn't it? Right, okay. Let's pop it in. Ooh, dust anyone? Let's have a little... Ooh. Oh, dear. Well, here we go. That's some clear up later. Ooh, okay. It smells nice, actually. Right, let's have a look. That's what it looks like inside. Just a normal hot chocolate by the looks of it, really. Or is it? It's a mocha of millionaire's awesomeness. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is what it looks like as you empty it out. There you go. Ooh, quite cool. Quite a lot in the in the sachet, actually. I always put a bit of milk in with mine, just to sort of even it out. I know, obviously, it's got the powdered milk in. I always like to put the milk in as well. I think it adds something... Do it! Here's a kettle I had on me earlier. Please be careful when pouring hot stuff. Of course. Huh? Ooh. No. I was thinking the other day as well, I'm going to do like a blockbuster rewind uh, chat. I don't know if you guys would like to see that. I'm thinking about doing that. Talking about old blockbuster and video memories. I'm sure I did one years ago. But like I say, now the quality of the channel's gone up and the quality of the vlogs have gone up. There's a few topics I would like to talk about again that we mentioned years ago that I haven't managed to do for a while. It smells quite nice, actually. Let's have a look. Ooh, that's what it looks like as it's made up with a splash of semi-skimmed semi semi milk. Well, again. Mm, okay. What oh, nice. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's very creamy, quite indulgent. Mm, nice and warming. Hits the spot in the morning if you want a treat. Mm, very nice for an instant millionaire's mocha. Lovely. That's actually really nice for an instant mocha. Personally, I would put a spoonful of sugar in 
um, brown sugar or white to be exact as well. Ooh, let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, I've just been informed on something. I'll be right back. Ooh. <laughs> it's going to be one of those vlogs. Oh, let's try it with salted caramel sugar dusting from Tesco's. Oh, also supplied by the lovely Viking. Now, with ah, there we are. But be careful not to spray it everywhere now. <laughs> right, here we go. But yeah, just a little bit of extra sugar, I think, would be good. Here we go. Okay, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's a really good pairing, actually. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. So on its own, I would give it a good solid 5.5 .5 out of 10 for a good quality, really nice, ooh, instant mocha. Yes. But with an added with this, the salted caramel sugar dusting ooh, from Tesco's, non-related, but apparently a very good team, I would say a good solid 7 out of 10. So if you're able to pick up both of these products together, I would definitely recommend it because they really add to each other. And this is quite good value for money. So if you can pick this up, it's really good and will add to a lot of drinks, hot drinks and desserts. So there you go. A really good score there and a really good quality mocha slash hot chocolate early in the morning for you guys. I love a mocha, one of my favorite uh, drinks to have in a coffee shop. Even if it's in a posh one, I really like a good quality mocha. And this one is very similar to what you would get in Starbucks or Costa itself. And you're able to drink it at home for a fraction of the price. And with something added extra to it, it's banging. Let me know your thoughts in the comments to do with Costa Coffee and of course Starbucks and other chains. And let me know your favourites. I really like some of the newer ones that are out there. And uh, we're hopefully going to do some reviews on those soon. Let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. Bye for now, Barnaby Badger Army. Keep safe, keep well, much love everyone. And I'll see you in the next vlog, video, stream, movie or short. And don't forget to, of course, check out Essex FBI Investigates if you haven't seen it, as it's one of my favourite films that we've created on the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.